all right here we go again i hope everyone is doing well good day viewers good day everyone um oh man it's about to rain here but check this out man oh man it's about to rain so i gotta do i gotta get creative right now as i deliver uh you know create this video my goodness it's raining all right so check, oh man all right but this is this is um an example of what i'm trying to say what am I trying to say, you ask? Who knows? But check this out. Yeah, plandemic. I like that term. I think it's creative. I like I like the wordplay in plandemic. I think it's very creative. And even apropos to what's going on. Hey, whatever. But check this out, man. Like, they say possibly in the northeast is going to get hit with a snowstorm a possible snowstorm and it may not be as as heavy as a blizzard but one snowflake falling in may in new york raises an eyebrow for me at least that's <laughs> i mean what the hell man we have we have the pandemic going on we have the stay-at-home quarantine going on. We got people who are supposed to be leaders can't get it together on, uh, you know, making decisions on how to help people survive this economic turmoil that we're dealing with due to joblessness and, and not being able to work and business shutdowns. Okay? We have people who are dying. And now we're about to have some snow. We shall see about that. That's just crazy. Just to even talk about how having snow in May is just, it's, it's, it's whatever. Like, I, I, what else can there be? You know? What, you know? It's like, I, I, I'm not surprised about anything anymore. At this point. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Murder hornets. Not surprised at how, you know, now the talk is people who've been staying at home are positive with COVID and they were staying at home. That shouldn't be a surprise. I'm not surprised that, um, you know, the leaders, government leaders are still, you know, moving around with, I mean, I'm not surprised that they still have yet to make a decision on what the next round of you know, what's the next round? What's the next stimulus fiat bag going to look like? What's that going to look like? I'm, I'm not surprised they haven't made a decision on it. You know? Uh, what, are you, what are you hoping for? For the viewers, you know, from America, which, which stimulus package are you hoping passes through? <laughs> you know, what, what? there's so many that's on the table right now. Which ones they're discussing, you know, people can only guess and speculate at this point. Why? It just boggles my mind. It just boggles my mind. Some people say that, you know, the monies that were doled out right now is going to have serious implications in the future, right? Inflation will be high, higher taxes, you know, it'll be required for people to pay higher taxes, etc. Um, okay. But guess what? People are not working right now. People can't pay their bills right now. Like, why? Because they were told to stay home. And they were told to stay home and they have COVID while they're home. Come on. Like, <laughs> whatever this is, man, whatever this is, it's it's like, um, like they said to an Ethereum, a cryptocurrency uh, founder, or, uh, well, founder, I would say, Vitalik Buterin. I guess he described Ethereum as a project where, you know, it's like flying a plane, but still kind of like building the plane all at the same time. That's that's what it seems is what's going on with um, this whole pandemic, COVID, global crisis. You know, a plan was put forth and possibly maybe not well thought out. And they're trying to just it's an ongoing work in progress work towards what i don't know work towards what absolute 
totalitarianism or is it a work against you know really combating some invisible enemy the the truth to all of this by the time it gets settled on the ground by the time we really really you know understand in mass what's going on we're going to be looking at some other issues going on we're going to by then it's going to be other hurdles and challenges that we're going to face that's just my opinion because the way things are unfolding it's just smoke screen after smoke screen you're being told piecemeal we're being piecemeal given information bit by bit and nothing is congruent and, and, and what I'm saying is this man like for example just this whole thing with staying at home we were told if we stay at home that's gonna help reduce the you know exposure to COVID etc cetera, etc cetera. but now the talk is well people at home already had COVID while they stayed at home while they you know were laid off furloughed fired can't go back to work so what's 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 going on here what's going on here the president is, is like a, a, an entertainer at this point He's an entertainer. The governor too, all the governors, all these leaders, these senators and, and, and representatives and congressional people, they're all entertainers. All entertainers. There's a great personality on, on content creator that says all the time, the world is a stage. And, and he's right, the world is a stage. And unfortunately, we're the audience. The audience is also the victims. But then you have, you know, you, you have the, the yearn and desire to say, you know what, I want to live, I want to continue to live life. You know, who doesn't want to continue to live life? Who doesn't want to continue to have some, some semblance of normalcy amidst everything that's, that's, that's just, just sheer insanity right now, right? You want to, of course, you know, do things that you put back on the back burner, you know, pick up a hobby or two go back to doing whatever, whatever, it's cool to you, or whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, but at the same time, you can't help but, you know, in the back of your mind, knowing that you're in this situation because of some other stuff going on, you know, it's, 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 nothing is, you know, things don't just happen just out of thin air, like, I don't believe in coincidences, I don't believe in coincidences, that's why, you know, you have the conspiracy theories. They're having a field day right now. Folks that, you know, anarchy, they, the anarchists, they're having a field day right now. Having a field day. Oh, I told you so, jumping up in there. I told you so, but even in anarchy, you have to follow certain rules. How about that? Right? But it's just a bunch of stuff going on right here that, you know, we can't make any rhyme or reason towards. And then when we try to, you know, reclaim some something in our lives to just deal and combat this, this issue that's taking place, we have to go back and remember, oh, man, <laughs> what's tomorrow going to look like? Because that's just glaring. That reality is just glaring. You know, staying at home orders are, have been extended. Schools have been closed. Businesses still shut down. We're told this thing about testing and, and where the test, we don't know. Some tests you have to pay. And then this test, they're charging money to get these tests made, these tests done. But now it's all about, you know, testing and contact tracing. Tracing back wherever, as, as, as far as you can to where you had contact with someone or who had the virus and how it got to you like how many levels and steps back you have to go to get that done you you understand just for one person that could just be what kind of ordeal that is so people are just gonna i already know you know human human beings human nature is very complicated people are complicated and this is no different you're talking about in, in embarking in a complicated a very arduous task by way of contact tracing and you're dealing with the element of human behavior, oh man, good luck. Bloomberg supposedly is gonna help spearhead the contact tracing thing in New York City. We'll see how that works. Good luck with that. Man, that's just a headache even talking about, right? So you try to, you know, try to, you know, kind of deal with things, you know, might want, you know, do some Netflix and chill, you know, Hulu game, get your, get your movie game up, streaming, you know, get my mind off of stuff too like for example i jump on these videos i jump on this social media thing and make videos but what am i talking about covid <laughs> so i guess it's therapeutic though 
but you got to find something to help release and vent use you know some healthy and positive outlets to deal with this nonsense one thing i'm not going to do though and, and this this is real like the people who there are people who are just just look man there are people who just won't get it don't get it don't want to get it and that's true i know people who just are you know you would be surprised and in, in high echelons upper types of economic statuses who just are just aloof completely detached and oblivious to what's going on oblivious they're not oblivious 100 percent, but their thing is like you know kumbaya my lord kumbaya nobody got time for that bro nobody got time for some damn kumbaya nobody got time for that bro and the same person that's doing the kumbayas is unemployed and is a dental surgeon facts and do this kumbaya is is hey you want kumbaya then do that man grab your guitar and do you hey this, that's what you're doing if that's what helps you get by my goodness well who am i to judge man because that's probably his outlet because he can't cope with the reality some people just can't cope with the levels of what this can bring man even i like after a while i gotta disconnect because it's just too much programming it's just too much programming that's taking place negative propaganda negative it's just it just overwhelms you and then you become what you're listening after a while you know i could see how people get lost in this stuff and they are called fear mongers and and you know things of that nature because this is what you're engrossed in you it becomes like an obsession it's not healthy but one thing i'm not going to do though is highlight nonsense like looking forward and seeing what's happening on Instagram where Jay-Z is going to battle or, or DMX wants to battle Jay-Z on Instagram. Stuff like that to me in this serious time is just not in my spirit. I can't do it. Not to say that I'm better. Not to say that I'm better. I'm not saying that I'm better. All I'm saying is I, I don't have time to be like DMX and, and Jay-Z on Instagram watching who wins a battle when we have something going on here that's that's really that, that, that takes precedence while you're watching jay-z like who's kids uh, children could get children god bless them but when you have grown adults grown adults my age my age right i'm not gonna reveal how old i am i'm a man of a certain age talking to me yo did you catch that timberland swiss beats battle i'm not doing that I'm not, I don't care about some Timberland, some Teddy Riley, and, and whatever battle on, on Instagram. What, what is that? What is that? What are we doing? What are we doing? People are disconnected, man. You know, we're going, you know, this battle, which sandwich I'm going to make. I'm going to see, you know, I'm going to make, you know, you know, a ham sandwich, and you make a peanut butter and jelly, and we battle on social media, and we see, you know, who did the best one. You're losing your minds, bro. Like, folks are trying to stay creative, I get it, and, and, and involved and stuff, but come on, man. The state of affairs are at a peak, uh, high, 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 and then folks are just talking about some battle on some instant. Come on, man. I can't be bothered with that, man. Can't be bothered with it. Come on, man. But this is what brings... This is what helps me also understand how powerful cryptocurrency is. You know, many people don't understand it. Many people won't understand it. Many people don't want to understand crypto. They don't want to understand cryptocurrency. They don't. But guess what? It's here. It's not going anywhere. It's powerful. It's also affecting lives in a powerful way. It's relinquishing the powers from, the, from these same these same individuals this is what's happening you can see it right now you can see the fear the fear by these congressional leaders these governmental structures and these central banksters because that's what they are the gangsters in a bank you can see the fear and how with the the fear that that it just by the way that they are infusing untold amount of, of cash into stock markets like the new york stock exchange nasdaq dow jones in the middle of this economic climate you can see how banks these banks took advantage of a stimulus package the cares act they got their percentages first 
before they issued any grants or loans out to small businesses. They made sure they got their cut. They don't give a shit about people. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about me. But crypto is the void of that. There's no politics involved with Bitcoin and the blockchain and the myriad of other cryptos, the legitimate, the legitimate projects I'm talking about here and how it could affect change. And those of us who've been in the communities, who've been in this, in this, in this 11-year-old budding industry can attest to the potential, to the potential of cryptocurrency and what it could bring to the world. And now more than ever, with this economic climate and downturn, now more than ever, where in certain places, certain, certain places you can't even retrieve, you can't even expect to close your bank account without having some type of surveillance or interview or sit down where you got to jump and talk to X, Y, and Z manager and, and blah, 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 just to get money that belongs to you, just to get your money out of the bank. You have to have permission to, really, to close your account to get your money out of your bank. Crypto doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter with crypto. You can make transactions across the world. It's you and whomever. It's you, point A, point B. Point B, back to point A. That's it. No middle ground, no intermediary. And the governments don't want that. Those who are involved with gold and silver, precious metals, you know, they have their use and, and, and the communities as well. There's, of course, gold and, and, and precious metals have been in existence for thousands of years. It's very hard to retrieve those because you gotta take that from the ground. You got you know, that comes from the ground. Crypto affords, crypto affords a different paradigm though. A different level of paradigm. You're talking about something that's finite, incredibly scarce, has utility, can't be confiscated. The list goes on. No one owns it in totality, so it's decentralized. The list goes on. So those of us who are in the space, who are in crypto, and for my viewers, if you're interested, just learn about crypto. There's a myriad of information out there about it. Google it. The, the, the research is there. Just but do something that's going to help you. Do something today that's going to help you tomorrow. In this crisis, in this pandemic, in this, 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 this tragic comedy that's taking place here. And I'm not making light out of the lives that have been affected, that have been lost. In this, in this, in this, in this sad state of affairs right now. Do the research. Those of us who've been, who've been in, 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 in the crypto market for, for years... Even, even let's say let's say not even for years but you have a project that you're involved with or you're involved with the market and you see the benefits share with someone share those same experiences not just on YouTube but in the real world because YouTube is YouTube it's part of the real world but you know it's captured in social media but share with someone in real life maybe spread the word that way even though you might face opposition and resistance but at one point you didn't know about crypto you you might meet someone like yourself it's about empowerment it's about lending lending ourselves to a point where we can lift each other up during this time of uncertainty because the powers that be the elitists don't give a shit they're not there to keep you to, to, so that you can rise to reach their levels. Are you crazy? That's why they're elite. You're supposed to remain at the bottom so that their existence can be recognized. Otherwise, if we weren't at the bottom and we were all on equal footing, it'd be a totally different system. You get it? Talk to y'all later.